Kan shalom. O praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim Kalkadash, the be honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect is pushing his truth and sincerity. So I just came across this fit. It's actually a fit where you have this. Uh, she's a doctor apparently. She's uh, she's actually kind of speaking about how she she's not digging the fact how you have all these different labels she's joining into the FBA. A A D A O S Hebrew Slide Christian Muslim etc etc and that we have to put all these things to the side and come together in fighting oppression but that's simply not how it works man you know there's always a division a division in mind a division in 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 uh, conduct and um, a division in in what it is that you want to achieve. You know, so the Bible speaks about being surrounded by like-minded men. Like-minded men, sound doctrine, the same doctrine, one accord of mindset is with which you can achieve your goal with. You're not going to be joined together with somebody that is not the same belief system, the, the, the belief uh, uh, standards uh, in achieving your goal. So in Hebrew, Israelite will never mix with, with, a, with a Christian, a modern-day Christian or with a Muslim. Because their goals, their their mindset, their doctrine is not in line with that which is of a of a of a Hebrew Israelite. So let's just play this clip. I got a couple of scriptures on deck which I want to bring out to filter and to edify our people. Because many might listen to what she's saying and they might think like, yeah, we need to put aside all those labels and come together. You know, put aside all those things which is actually uh, um, uh, dividing us and come together. Let's 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 leave all those labels at the end. But that's not how it works, man. It may sound good for the for the carnal mind, but with with the spiritual senses, you understand that this is this is totally off, man. And what's sad, Baba, is when we get our people together, it's like we can't build because you worried about this person being in a nation. This person you worried about, they are more. You worried about Hebrew, Israel. Like, I don't care what you call yourself. Let's come together and build something, Baba. You, we can worry about that stuff later. Let's come together. Let's just adopt a race first mentality and build something, Baba. But people get so caught up with what labels, these labels. I'm ADOS. I'm, um, uh, what is it? ADOS. I'm foundational. I'm FBA. I'm right. this. I'm that. I'm this. Let's come together. Let's adopt a race first mentality and let's fight oppression. That's where I'm at, Baba. I don't care what you call yourself. You could call yourself, look, I'm looking at the, your back. Call yourself green for all I care. Let's pick let's, a name, pick any a, name. Right, <laughs> let's come any together. Name. Let's come together <laughs> let's, and let's put fight names oppression. In a hat. And we're sad, Baba. And this is actually the reason why the Lord says the woman, the woman is not supposed to usurp authority, you know, because. The leading, the leading, uh, um, the leading uh, capabilities are simply not given unto them to to guide our people in this in this ministry, man. It's not given unto them to to guide them in the way how a man is guiding a woman. A woman can help, you know. A woman can help contribute in. Uh, the guidance that takes place by the man, but the woman is not supposed to be in a position of G teaching, instructing men how to be, how to. That's not that's not the role of a woman, man. It says in the book of First uh, Timothy chapter two, verse eleven, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. You tell this towards these modern day females and they buck up against it because this system is giving them all the liberty to think that they're equal or above the man. So they will not sub they will not they will not humble themselves in fulfilling their role. That's the world we're living in, man. And that's why many of these females are going to be uh, judged by the most high if they don't repent. The Lord is looking for humble meek quiet spirits that are fulfilling their role fearing the lord if they have a husband a uh, 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 revering and honoring a husband and understanding that the man the man is guiding in a relationship if they can't do this the heavenly father will judge them the ones that are without a husband you know but they are yet believing in the lord they have a humble meek quiet spirit and they're following the heavenly father will set them in uh um, give them the right man in in in, in the right time 
So it says here in the book of uh, the book of Shirak, chapter 33, verse 13, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as like it him best. So the Lord, the Lord created all the people on this earth, all, all these nations that you see, all these different nations. You got a Chinese, you got Arabians, you got Indians, you got uh, 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 um, the Israelites, you got all these nations created on this earth, and the Most High fashioned them. He made them according to how He wanted Him wanted them to be. It says, "Good is said against evil. Good is said against evil." There's always things are being created two by uh, one by one, which is which is which is actually in a pair. Good on the right side is warring against the evil. It says life against death. So the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. To understand the meaning of the word sinner, a sinner is a person that is actually transgressing the laws of the Most High. And that is the state that many people are in without even understanding it, man. A sinner, in this case, most likely she doesn't understand who she truly is, what her true identity is, that she actually is an Israelite. And that she needs to submit and walk in the laws of the Most High. So she is in the spirit of walking in sin. But in her mind, she thinks like, yeah, we need to put aside all those things. All that is actually um, dividing us, separating us from each other, need to be put to the side. <coughs> and we need to we need to come together in order to overthrow the oppression. But that's not going to happen. Because first of all, you got to have the understanding why this oppression is taking place. Who is in control? Who is causing this oppression? And then you understand that it is the Most High that is controlling the whole oppression. You got to get the understanding of what the Most High requires from you in order to uh, 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 be redeemed from this oppression. But that's not the process that is taking place in their mind because they don't pay value onto what the prophets are saying, what is written in the scriptures. They just lean upon their own understanding. Let's throw aside all those things and come together so that we can overthrow the oppression. That's her mindset. It says in the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 4, Whosoever therefore committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. You see, so many of our people are walking in sin because they break the commandments of the Most High. But yet they don't understand. So it is needful for the Most High to send His prophets to explain unto His people that they're walking in sin and that they need to repent. You need to have a remorseful spirit, acknowledge that you do wrong, and you want to change yourself into the right ways of the Most High. That is the process that they need to walk upon. There's no other way of becoming redeemed out of this oppression except in walking in what the Heavenly Father commands you to do. So it says... Um, so look, look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. You see, I waked up last of all, as one that gathered after the grape gathers by the blessing of the Lord, I profited and tread my winepress like a gatherer of grapes. You see, so everything is actually created two by two, one and one is set against another. Those that obey the Most High, those that can see, in, uh, are standing against the ones that are not listening and not taking heed and not doing the will of the Most High. That is the division that continually is taking place upon this earth. The Lord, the Lord stands for division, man. The Most High is not in the spirit like, man, I want unity. Everybody is just one. It doesn't matter who you think you are. It doesn't matter what you believe. Oh, oh I'm, I'm all love. I love, I love the murderer. I love the thief the same way as I love the righteous worker upon this earth. That's not how it works, man. That is not how it works. The book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Everything that needs to take place upon this earth needs to be done by the will of the heavenly father. Everything that we do, we understand. Like everything that you can do, you do it and you, you give thanks and praise unto the most high. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 starting at verse... Um, uh, let me read verse 22. It says abstain from all appearance of evil and it's it's evil you know when you speak the scripture says the lord the lord is a jealous power he wants you to bow down and respect only him walk in his ways if you say that you're a muslim you're actually bowing down onto an idol that is evil in the heavenly father's eyes when you're bowing down on modern day christianity why jesus that is an idol we're not bowing down onto anyone except the heavenly father yahweh bashim yashai that is our power it says it in, um, uh, where is that scripture, man? 
Yeah, verse 18. In everything give thanks for this is the bill of the Most High in Mashiach Yahushai concerning you. So we, we will never get joined together with those who are not walking in the spirit of the Most High. Even even amongst the Israelites that say that the Israelites there's a division. You have some of them teaching that Edomites can make it. You have others teaching that the the the, the men mingled had sex with angels. You have you have uh, uh, doctrines which is teaching that women are allowed to teach. You got you got doctrines which is teaching that uh, uh, the chariots, the UFOs of the Heavenly Father are not scriptural. Uh, America will not be destroyed. The mark of the beast is not a microchip. There is even a division within the house of Israel, within within those that know that they are Israelites. There's always been division, even even in the empire of Esau. Man, let's get that. Even in the empire of Esau, where Esau is ruling on this earth right now, there's division. There will always be division. So the book of Matthew, chapter twelve, verse uh, verse twenty-five. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? How? Because if there is polarization, inner strife taking place within the household, that house is going to fall. And that is what you can see. That is what you should be able to see in this present time. But within the household of the Most High, there is no, there is no strife, no polarization. Everybody is submitted unto the establishment. Everybody, everybody respects the hierarchy, the order that is established by the Most High. And that is a key thing. A key thing for harmony is order, following order and walking in it, abiding in it, respecting the powers above us, man. The book of 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. And submitting yourself onto onto the onto the onto the instructions of the Most High, obeying His ways. That is what needs to take place. Uh, verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is the Messiah, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of the Messiah is the Most High. So you gotta walk. You gotta walk in that way. So with that understanding, you know the Most High is the highest, the Creator. He sent His Son. His Son came to do His will. The Son didn't came upon this earth to do His own thing. He came to do the will of the Most High, the doctrine, the fulfillment of the doctrine of the Most High. The book of John chapter 7 verse 16. Yahweh Shai answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but he is but his that sent me. If any man do his will, he shall know of this doctrine, whether it be of the Most High or whether, it's, whether I speak of myself. You see, so the Lord came upon this earth to do the will of the Heavenly Father, man. To teach, to explain, to guide, to show them that he is the mediator. The mediator between uh, between uh, between us upon this earth and the heavenly Father above, because we we made mistakes, we went off. The heavenly Father turned his face against uh, against against his people, but he gave he gave his beloved Son as an ultimate sacrifice, so that we could cleanse ourselves from our sins and be brought back. You know, uh, the the adoption brought back onto the Most High. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 5 For there is one power and one mediator between the Most High and men, the man Yahweh Shai, uh, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. You see, so he gave his life so that we could cleanse ourselves from our sins and be brought back onto the Most High because the Most High wants you to be in the spirit and in the conduct of perfection. You got to strive for the best of your ability in walking in His ways. Not saying that you will make no mistakes, but you're striving at your best and you will make mistakes, you will stumble. The scripture says the just man fought it seven times. But there's also a thing called grace, grace and mercy. You know, we pray unto the Heavenly Father that He will be merciful when we make mistakes and that we will that He cleanses us from all our sins and that He keeps us in the way that is well pleasing unto Him. You know? And by doing this, you're pleasing the Most High and He will accept you. But anybody that is not bowing down, that is not acknowledging their sins, that is not submitting and trying to walk in the best of their ability in the instructions of the Most High, the Heavenly Father is not going to save you. You're walking as as the as the scripture says, the enemy of the cross. They walk in, they walking contrary unto what um, the Lord actually did for us, man. They 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 being the enemy, the enemy of what the Most High did for what the Redeemer did for us, man. Where's the scripture? Um, the enemy of the cross, and there's a, there are a lot of people. 
There are a lot of people on this earth right now that are the enemy of the cross. Many people that don't believe that the Redeemer is a dark skin man, they're the enemy of the cross. If you don't, if you don't believe that the Redeemer only died for his people, you're the enemy of the cross. It's actually the spirit of the Antichrist. You're anti the Messiah. The whole system, this whole system is actually um, uh, Antichrist. What is this? Let's go back. You know? The whole system, the whole system is 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 against the redeemer. So when you when you look at these people, these people don't understand that what they do is actually warring against the Most High. They're warring against the redeemer, but yet yet in the ignorance they think they're in a good case. They don't even understand how how the heavenly Father is going to deal with them. Man, it says here, the book of uh, Philippians chapter three verse. Um, it says. First seventeen. This is a this is a beautiful example, man. Brethren, be followers together of me. You gotta be a follower of who? Of Yahushai. You got you have you had great examples upon this earth. Paul, dedicated a, a dedicated apostle. You know, you got you gotta be you gotta be a follower of the Redeemer. The things that he did upon the earth, you gotta do it in word and in speech. You know, it says, "Among them which walk so as ye have us." For an example, you know, so you had famous men, ones that, that truly left a, 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 a good example in how you need to be upon this earth, man. It says, for many, many walk of whom I have told you often, and I'll tell you even weeping, that they are the enemy of the cross of the Messiah. There are many people that are walking in a spirit that is completely contrary unto the Redeemer. They don't, they don't display Yahweh Shai's mind. They're, they're leaning on their own understanding, they're selfish, they're, they're greedy, they're, they're thinking about uh, gain, uh, they, they're teaching things which is simply off doctrine, you know, they, they just make up things. So if, you, if you're not walking in the spirit of the Heavenly Father, you're not walking in, you're not walking in, you're not walking in the, in the, in the spirit, you know, the scripture says you have the flesh. Those that are walking in the flesh, walking contrary unto Yahweh Bashimi Shai. Let me get a quick piece up about that, man. In the book of Romans, chapter 8. Romans 8, verse 6. Oh, let me start at verse 5. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. You see, so there's again, there's again the vision. The spirit. Two, two, everything is created by two. One is set against another. The spirit is walking in the ways of the Most High, and the flesh is actually walking in the ways of the earth. The movement in, in, in the desire and the lust, and it is not subjugated onto the spiritual, the spiritual guidance, you know, on the right side. It says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And that's the road we're walking on. We're walking on the spiritual path, in the righteous path. We push life, we push healing, we push the right guidance in instructing our people in obeying the Most High. But what is the world doing? The world is teaching them to be disobedient, lawless, carnal, not to care, not to fear the Most High, to think this, to think lightly of the Heavenly Father. And that's why that's why people walking in the ways how they walk today. That's why you see the world in this turmoil. You got gay pride parades mo moving all over the globe. Now, now you got now you got them normalizing and decriminalizing a pedophilia upon this earth. And we've been telling people about what is about to happen. So we look, we look with our spiritual eyes at what is taking place and we can see the manifestation of everything coming to pass, man. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the most high. Their mind is warring against the heavenly father. Everything that they do is an offense. Everything that we say and instruct how it's written in the Bible is an offense. It's hurtful for them because they don't want to submit unto the ways of the Most High. They hate, they hate the Bible, they hate us, they hate the Most High, they hate the Redeemer. It says, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. They don't want to, sub they don't want to submit themselves unto the ways of the Most High. So they're warring against the ways of the Most High. Seeing that they cannot, hurt, they cannot reach the Most High, they cannot reach the Son, they're going to aim towards the servants of the Most High. It says, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. You see, these people cannot please the Most High because their mind, their mind is not moved in in walking in the spirit their mind is moved by walking in the flesh that's that's all they know walking in the flesh and having joy in the flesh 
So let me go back to where is the scripture here? Uh, bear with me. Boom here. So back in the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse, um, verse 19. And then it says whose end is destruction, whose power is the belly and whose glory is the shame who mind earthly things. You see, this this all is connects, you know, it's all connected. Their mind is based on what is taking place on this earth without understanding that this place is not going to continue forever, man. They just don't, they just don't get it, man. They don't on date, but they cannot see they cannot see what is going to happen, man. That's why they're fixated on this earth. They mind, they mind thinking like how life is right now on this earth. It's always going to be like this. There will be small changes and then things are going to continue like how it always was. N n nothing stays the same, man. The, we, we're in a continual path of changes and changes. And we're going we're gonna to have drastic changes upon this earth, man. We're moving towards a time of Armageddon, the Third World War. Grievous tribulation is ahead of us, man. And this whole wicked empire that you see upon this earth is going to be taken down, and the righteous kingdom will be established here upon earth, and everybody will be submitted unto the ways of the most high. It says, Do not love the world. John first John chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So, how can we be joined together with those that love the world? Those that love the world are conformed unto the ways of the system. How how can how can we be together with them? We can be together with them. You know, we tell these people that this whole wicked empire is going to be destroyed. And if your mind is conformed unto this world, you will be destroyed. How can you how can you achieve salvation by joining hand in hand with those that give themselves over unto this world? You can't. The book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. I want to go into the meaning of the word will, you know, because it's all about the will of the Heavenly Father. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about the will of the Most High. Submit. You don't want to do that. You're going to face the judgment of the Most High. That's how simple it is. The message, the message is very simple, man. Anybody that doesn't want to bow down and submit unto the ways of the Heavenly Father is going to find out his wrath, his indignation, pretty soon. Strong's G, 2307. Thelema. Thelema. It says, What one wishes or determined shall be done of the purpose of the Most High to bless mankind through the Messiah. Of what the Most High wishes to be done by us. It is what the Most High wants us to do. That is where it's about. Not about, well, I feel, I think, we should put aside all those labels. We are all one. Well, God loves everybody. We are all equal. It's, it's not about what you think and what you feel. That's not what it's about. It's about how the Most High sees things and what you need, you need to do according to the will of the Most High. But people don't want to submit. That's why they're going to fit. They're going to fit, man. <laughs> Boy. People go face the things that we say continually and they may think like, well, I don't think that God is going to do that. Let's get this scripture, man. Some might say like, well, I don't think that God is going to do what y'all say because then a lot of people are going to die. <laughs> Let me tell you this, man. A lot of people will die. A lot of people are going to go. The same way like how it was in the time of Noah, only eight souls survived. Only eight souls were fit in the eyes of the Most High. In this present time, only a small remnant is fit in the eyes of the Most High. The rest of the people are going to be cleansed of this earth and this world, this this planet, this whole this whole this whole way of being is going to be re-established in a righteous way. That is what's coming. The Book of Romans, chapter three, verse three: For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the fate of the Most High without effect? What if some people don't believe what we say? What if, what if some people will say, well, I don't believe that what is written in the Bible is going to come to pass. I don't believe in that. I think the Bible is a book of fairy tales. I think I just can do whatever I want. I think we're all evil. I think, I think, I think, I feel my opinion, my this, my this, my... Yo, <laughs> at the end, you're going to find out who is real, who, who was right and who was wrong. That, that's, that's actually what it is. In the end, everybody is going to see who was right and who was wrong. And then people are going to fear. You know, because it's only a small remnant that truly was walking in this way. The book, the book says, uh, God forbid, you know, let every, let the most high be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified by the sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged, man. 
and they will be judged they will be judged in in grievous ways man you know so it says whose end is destruction whose power is the belly yeah because they put their own their own flesh above the will of the most high you know the feeding of their own their own desire the lust the the the, the money the filling of their pockets the fame the narcissist the narcissistic way of likes and all the, the the folly that you see upon this earth that is what they put above submitting themselves onto the ways of the most high they mind earthly things but we are not let's get that spirit the spirit works beautiful man we don't care about the earthly things man all these things on this earth are going to be destroyed you know we we are not focused we are not focused on um uh, uh um let me see where's the scripture temporal let me see bear with me you know here uh Here it is. First, uh, do, 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 let me bring it for him. Second Corinthians four, verse eighteen. While we look not at the things that are seen, but at the things which are not seen. The things that are seen is everything that is actually carnal. People see a car, they see a big house, they see a yacht, they see a chain, they see they see a, a, a necklace, they see an the expensive watch. You know, they see the amount of money, they see bitcoins. These are the, the carnal things which people can see. But we don't focus on those kind of things. We focus on the things that cannot be seen. The Holy Spirit, the fate of the Most High, you know. And even, and even, <laughs> even, even if you're looking at the spiritual, the chariots, man. The chariots, people are not even looking up to see and to understand what the chariots are. But we look at them and we see and we understand, you know. We are storing our treasures up in heaven as these people are building and trying to store treasures here upon earth. Where everything is going to be completely obliterated, man. It says, for the things that are seen are temporal. All the corner things that you see are temporal. You, when, when these people die, they're not going to take their car with them when they, when they go into the grave. When people die, they cannot take their gold. They cannot take their phone. They can't take anything with them when they die. When you die, you're gone. You leave all the things behind. You might have extreme riches. You might have been boasting in your riches. When you die, somebody else is going to have joy of your riches, man. Nothing is that nothing upon this earth you can take with you. You see, it says, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And those are the spiritual things. That's why the scripture says we are storing up treasures in heaven. Our spiritual works is a spiritual investment. And all the spiritual investments is the building that takes place in the kingdom. You see, our faith is growing. Our mind, our wisdom, knowledge and understanding is growing upon this earth. Our vision is being sharpened. The heavenly fathers encamping those angels round about you. The, the preparation and the building and the works that we do is not being understood by the people on the left hand side in their eyes it's like man they're wasting time they're always in the bible they're always being with this busy with that because they don't understand the spiritual investment the building process and the reward for what we do you know but in the destruction in the time of destruction yes that is that this time of the destruction they will understand you know, because that's the time when the Heavenly Father will, He will protect us. In a time of famine, we will be fed. You know, we will be, we, we will have food. We will have drink. We will, we will be hatched against bullets flying around when females getting raped. When men, when men, even men are going to get raped in those days, man. Just think about all those serial killers, serial rapists, there's those predators. There's some sick creatures on this earth, man. And when there's no law, total anarchy, no police... Nobody to call and to protect you, man. Boy, these people don't understand, man. It says here in 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the, of the world. All the things that you see, that, that narcissistic, uh, get viral madness. I made a video about this, this woman, this mother, played, played some role, some role skit role play skit with the son being being a so-called abusive wicked ass a gremlin boyfriend and then she was she was cussing and the boy the child was cussing towards mother and she was filming it this this is the folly that you see upon the earth man people love bullshit man but as soon as the words of wisdom the righteous guidance is coming out they don't want to hear it it, it, it even goes further. They want to scoff and score and they want to lay snares up, upon your pet when, you, when you're trying to do the right thing in the eyes of the most high, man. You just get sick and tired of this wicked world, man. It says, 
It says, And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but the but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. All these clowns and all these creatures, all, all mirth is going to end. All joy, all laughter, all scoffing, all scorning, all hindering is going to end. In a time of tribulation, in a time of catching hell, there's no more clowns sitting behind a computer reporting your videos and laughing. <laughs> no more, no more gremlins smoking weed, watching your videos with a mindset like, yeah, look at them again making videos, smoking weed, not taking serious all the, all the things that we keep showing our people, man. In those days, they're going to find out what is going to happen, man. When death is all around them, when they don't have, when they don't know what the next meal is going to be. When their wife and their and their children are continually in, in a deadly threat, trying to trying to stay calm, not knowing what to do, that's when people are going to understand, man. But before that, they're all going to be in the spirit of being clowns and wackies and, and, and just just idiots, man. That's the spirit that most of them are in right now. So let's go on, man. Uh boom. Let me see. Hey, the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew chapter uh 28 verse 18 and Yahushai came and spake unto them unto who unto the disciples and Yahushai speaking unto us we are following the Redeemer you know he's speaking towards us saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth because Yahushai is the second in command he is the second highest upon who's who's governing everything you got the most time then you have Yahushai the Redeemer who these people call Jesus Christ in ignorance man it says, go ye therefore and teach all nations. And that's what we do. We go out, we prophesy, we teach, we edify, we, 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 we heal our people from all these deadly diseases, snares and tricks and all propaganda and sorcery that is being used against our people to make themselves destructive. These are all, all type of ways of destroying our people, man. Everything is being used against them, man. We have to heal them and, and pull them out of the snares and out of the nets of the wicked, man. It says, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. That's why we say, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Rakakadash. The Heavenly Father in the name of His beloved Son and in the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always. The Lord is always with us. We have to, we have to walk in the instructions of what the Heavenly Father's beloved Son left unto us. He left an example. Do ye as I do. The Lord washed the feet of the, of, the, of the disciples, man. That is, that is the mindset of it is better to, 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 to serve, to give, than to receive. You know, we, we are not here on this earth with this understanding of knowledge, which we have received of the most time, to boast ourselves and to make ourselves above or, or cause others to serve us. We, we receive this knowledge from the most high to minister, to serve our people. That is our purpose. We are serving our people and healing them, pulling them out of the nets and out of the snares. The scripture says, I am always with you, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Yeah, even, even unto the downfall of this wicked empire, man. The Lord is always with us, man. He may not be with us in the flesh, but the Holy Spirit is with us. The Spirit of the Lord is inside of us, man. You know, it says in the book of First Timothy chapter 4, verse 16, Take heed unto thyself and unto the, unto the doctrine of, Take heed unto thyself. Watch yourself. You know we're living, we're living, we're living in, we're living in perilous times. There are booby traps. There are people that have demons on them. There are clowns. You got all type of creatures being lured, being used by Satan to do what they do. And as they do what they do, they have joy in what they do, but they don't, they don't understand the 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 the, the end of their own actions. That's that's what that's how Satan used puppets, man. These puppets are being used to do the will of Satan, but they don't understand that they're warring against the workers of the Most High. And they don't understand that there will be a grievous, a grievous judgment for what you do unto the righteous. You're going to pay for those things, man. It says, continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So we are co-workers on the process where the Lord is busy trying to save people out of the hands of the wicked. That's what we do. We're trying to save people out of the snares, out of the booby traps, out of the nets of the wicked. And those that take heed, those that are, those that are listening, yeah, they can be saved, man. And one of the ways where people need to be saved from is all these doctrines, man. You got all these, all these, all these strongholds, all these religions, man. 
people believing things people are being atheists some of them are satanists some of them are, are dominism some of them are in modern day plantation christianity believing in white jeebus you got our people being in muslims in islam you got the people in mormonism you got the people in buddhism hinduism all these doctrines within the children of israel have no part of being in this is the book of uh, <coughs> the book of second timothy chapter 2 verse 25 it reads in, meek in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves in meekness and lowliness of mind we're telling the people that are opposing the word of the most that are opposing the sound doctrine and the goodwill of the heavenly father man and we're letting we're letting you know man you may not like the message because people want to hear that everything is going to be all right we're letting you know if you become the enemy of the most high you won't find out why the heavenly father also is called Allah Shajjah, the terrible demon like power when the lord gets down on people man <laughs> man it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power the lord knows your biggest fear and he will get down in the most gruesome way that you can ever imagine your wildest nightmares your wildest dreams are nothing compared to how the most High is going to deal with you man it says if the most High parent venture will give them repentance to the acknowledgement uh, of the truth and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. You see, so many of our people are right now in a state of being captive by these by these by the devil, man. The devil, the word devil simply means Diablo, which is the deceiver. <coughs> Getting these these people are the biggest deceivers on this earth, man. They convince our people that we're Negroes, that we're black. Oh, let me get this, man. I forgot one scripture, man. Uh, I believe it is First Timothy chapter two. Uh, Asalah, it's a uh, First First John. First John chapter two, and I believe it starts around twenty. It says here, but ye have auction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. And that's when when we tell people that we we know all things, the complete understanding is given unto the elect. The elect, the elect will, will have all that is needed in order to finish and to reach the end. But do you believe? Do you believe that the Most High has given this unto you? Or are you in doubt? It says, I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it and that no lies is of the truth. And that's why we become the enemy of many people, man. We tell the people the truth, the raw, uncutted, un-sugar-coated sugar truth. And people don't like the truth, man. That's why many, many times people say the truth hurts. When you tell people what is going to happen, they say, oh, you're racist. Oh, you're evil. Oh, you're extreme. You're extremist. You're a fanatic. Well, I don't, I don't give a rat's ass how you think and feel about me. I'm here to tell you the message of the Most High. You can dig it or you don't. That's all I'm doing. You, you, can, you can shoot and hate the messenger all day long. I don't care. This, this man this 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 thing and it's not about me it's not about the messenger it's about doing the will of the most high walking in his way hoping for his mercy sending out the same light that you saw in your house side towards our people heal them and hope that you are accounted worthy to be saved that's all we do that's all we do it says who is of the lie let's see where i'm skipping things it says i have not uh uh Oh, it says here, 22. It says, Who is a liar but he that denied that Jehoshua is the Mashiach? He is Antichrist and that denied the Father and the Son. And that's why a lot of people are in the spirit of the Antichrist. I, I went to this. The Antichrist is a person that denies that Jehoshua is the Redeemer. A person that denies who the Redeemer Jehoshua came to, uh, 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 was sacrificed for, and who is, he, who is coming to save. The Antichrist is a person that doesn't believe and doesn't want to accept that the Redeemer is a dark-skinned man with white woolly hair and red eyes. If you don't want to believe, you don't want to accept this truth, you are the Antichrist. If you don't believe in the Redeemer, you are the Antichrist. If you don't believe in his doctrine, you are part of the Antichrist. So there is not only one Antichrist which these, these wacky, tacky, modern day uh, plantation christians are teaching the people right now the antichrist the antichrist the whole system is antichrist the whole the whole system the whole the people in the system are in the spirit of the antichrist they are against the truth of the redeemer 
Anybody that is against the truth of the Redeemer is part of the Antichrist. So you got a lot of wacky, tacky Christians which are actually in the spirit of the Antichrist without understanding that they are part of the Antichrist. Whosoever therefore denied the Son, the same had not the Father, but he that acknowledged the Son had the Father also. So this is a very key thing because, <laughs> what was his name, Reb the News? Reb the News got taken out by the Most High for, for being in that spirit, man. This man was denying the existence of the, of the Redeemer. The Redeemer is the mediator between us upon this earth and the Most High. If you don't accept the Redeemer, you don't have the Father. So you can say all day long, all praise to the Most High only, and those things in his son putting, putting forth his legacy. Hey, man. <laughs> Those men need to repent. Let me say it like his son and his, his, his household, his family, they need to repent and get right. <coughs> and if not, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is going to take action against them. And they need to repent. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, with your whole mind. Give your whole mind to the ways of the Lord. He is guiding you. Don't come up with your own, leaning on your own understanding. The scripture speaks about the heart. And what is the system doing, man? The system is teaching you, man, follow your heart. Follow your heart. Yeah, man. We're truly living, we're truly living in an empire that is ruled by the wicked, man. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? If you study people, people can justify the most wickedest things that they do with their own mind, with their own heart. Yeah, but, yeah, but... The scripture speaks about a wicked, a wicked, and then in a a, a, um, a wicked man finding an excuse for his ways. That's the ways of the world, man. If you're not leaning, and if if you're not if you're not if you're not submitting yourself unto the ways of the Most High, you're leaning upon your own understanding. And the scripture says, "Lean not upon thine own understanding, your opinion, my feelings, my opinion." Well, it's your opinion, my opinion. Well, I think. Well, it's what you think. But, but the Lord, the Lord doesn't care about that, man. The Lord, is not, the Lord is not coming to you like, well, what do you think? What do you think that needs to happen? What do you think that is right? The Lord doesn't care about what you think, man. You got to know what He wants. And as long as you don't know and you don't want to know, then you're going to know how, man, then you're going to find out what He's going to do with you, man. People don't understand how the Lord works, man. This, this world has programmed people to think that God is only love. God, God is love. God is always good. God is always good. That, that, that. That BS. But where, what about his righteousness? What about his justice? What about his judgment? What about his indignation? A father, when you're looking at a father, and you can't you can look at a father and be like, God, you've, my father is always good. My father is dim. Man, a father, a father will correct you, man. If you go off, a father will whoop your ass, man. And that's, and that's when, I'm, when I'm talking about a real father, man. I'm not talking about those, those friendly, those friendly ass, those friendly ass, those effeminate, um, uh, uh, Mitch Bait uh, 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 type of fathers, man. You know, I'm talking about a real father, man. You steal something, you know, and your father and your father finds out that you stole something, man. You got an ass whooping, man. You get you get discipline and chastisement. That's that's your father, you know. That's that's looking at your father, depending if you had a father that dealt with you in that way, in the right way. What about the father of all spirits? You you really think that you can play games with the almighty power? You really think that you can fool around and think you I'm 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 a I'm a pull a fast one on the most high. You ain't gonna do none of that, man. You ain't gonna do none of that. It says in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. You go you gotta you gotta understand that he he is steering and you gotta you gotta walk in his guidance, man. That's also for this woman over here. She may be a doctor. She, she might be schooled and have her degrees, you know, her, her, her worldly knowledge. But the Lord doesn't, the Lord is not about worldly knowledge, man. The scripture says it in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter, uh, what is it, 1? <coughs> Let's go 1 Corinthians 1 and around, what is it, 19? Uh, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where's the scribe and where's the scribe? Where's the, where's the wise and where's the scribe? Where's the disputer of this world? Had not the, the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? Yeah, man. 
For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Because these people think they deem it as, as foolishness what we do for the Heavenly Father. And they think the knowledge that they have is, is, is surpassing anything. They, they really think that their knowledge is, is, is above everything, man. You know? But the Most High, the Most High looks at it in a whole other way. He, he establishes, the most the most time works like this. He chooses the underdog and then he builds up the underdog to do his will. And the people, the people look at a person like, who, who the hell is this? Who the hell do you think you are? So they will judge the book based on his cover, not understanding that the most time is setting up the underdog to do his purpose. So now they decline. They decline the message of the Most High. Because if you if you would establish a person that was already famous, a lot of people will flock to, oh yeah, he, yeah, he said that you got to do it. So monkey see, monkey do. And they follow, they be starstruck. That's why the Lord chooses those that are actually deemed as nothing. Let me, I can, I can read it. Let me just quickly read this, man. The Lord is, the Most High is beautiful, man. He has such a, such a beautiful way of doing things. And, the only the 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 purest of the purest can only come out of what he's doing you know there's there's no hypocritical deceitful trickery towards the most high man it says here in 26 for ye see your calling brethren that he that how that not many wise men after the flesh people that went to school had their high degrees master degree i'm not saying that there will be no brothers in this truth that have their mastery but they're not going to be many they be few in number it says, uh, uh, wise after the flesh, not many mighty, not many true or mighty uh, uh, warrior type of men are going to be in this truth. The truth, the man in this truth, they're going to be strong. You know, the scripture says, be a man, quit you, be like man. You got to be manly in this truth and you got to be, you got to be a stoic. You know, you're going to go to hardship, you're going to go to difficulty, tribulation in order to enter into the kingdom. This truth is not for weak minded people, man. It says not many noble, not many politicians, highly placed men, kings or, or, or royalties are going to enter into this truth are called. But the most high chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. The things that are looked upon as foolish is what the most high pulls to him, establishes to condemn and to tell these wicked doers that are deemed as wise what is going to happen. It says, and the most had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. The things that are looked upon like, man, he weak, it is, they're weak, man, they're nobodies, man. That's what the most high sets up. Pop, 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 establish it and tells it, go out and tell them. Tell them that are deemed as mighty, which is being looked upon as mighty, what is going to happen. The reality is, is that the ones that the most high calls in and establishes, those are truly the strong and the mighty ones. Because it requires discipline, it requires self-control, restraint, it requires a daily battle in doing the will of the most high in a, in a, in a, in a circus of, of foolishness and disobedience, man. Everybody can be a clown, everybody can be a thief, a lying scumbag, man. Anybody can be just, just, just a nobody, man. But it requires backbone, character, discipline, a real fighter mentality, mentality to do the will of the Most High, which, which these people don't have. They don't have it. The only thing that they can do when they see you being occupied and doing it is cough and scorn. Well, I don't think about it. I don't care about your Bible. Well, I don't, I don't believe in it. So now they want to fight against you building the right path, building the right thing. That's the only thing that they can do because they don't have no true purpose on this earth, man. They don't have no purpose. So it says, the weak things of the world to confound the mighty. It says, and base things of the world and the things which are despised had the most had chosen. Yea, and the things which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. The things that people deem as nobody. I don't want them around me, man. He ain't fit enough to be around me. He ain't making enough money to be around me. He ain't famous enough to be with me and to be seen with me. Man, Listen, man, we don't care about those things, man. We don't care. The only thing that counts is the will of the Most High. The same thing in the strip, like, we don't care about the opinions of people when we do what we do for the Heavenly Father. One might say, I hate you, I don't like you for what you do, you're always in the Bible, but I don't care. What do you do? What is it that you do? You every day on your phone, you every day on your stupid ass uh, uh, social media, Facebook, posting whatever you do, posting about what you eat, where you're going. Well, who, who cares about that? Well, nobody cares about that. You, you, you might have followers. Well, oh my God, I'm going to like what she... Oh my God, look at what she's wearing, man. I'm going to like it, man. 
Well, the Movistar doesn't care about that, man. The Movistar is pleased with what we do. And that's what counts, man. You know? So if we please the Movistar and the whole world is against us, then let the whole world be against us. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. That's the world we're walking upon, man. We don't want to be wise in our own eyes. Think like, okay, this is good, this is right. No, you go to the book. You go to the Bible. You go to the Holy Spirit and you filter it till you get guided by the right way. You know, you're walking in the fear towards the Lord. And you depart from evil. Anything that is evil. Abstain from all forms of evil. So we cannot be joined together with those that are not in the same doctrine, in the same mindset. It says in the book of John chapter 3 verse 30, He must increase, but I must decrease. Yahweh Bashim Yashai must increase, but we must humble ourselves. We must submit. You know, that is that is the road that we're walking upon, man. It says, He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. Yahweh Bashim Yashai. That's why we bow down. You got you to gotta show respect, man. You know, the book of uh, Sirach chapter 3 verse 24. For many are deceived by their own opinion. Yeah, that's this female, man. Well, uh, you got all those labels. We got to put all those labels to the side. And let's come all together and overthrow, overthrow oppression. You, you really think, do you really think that you were the first person that comes up with this ID and thinks that like this is the way how to do it? Do you really think that you were the first one to come up with this plan? This, this that stupid idea has been used and been and been tried for many a times and it failed and it failed over and over and over again and if people want to do it again they're going to fail because it's simply not the will of the most high that's that's the reason the most High explains why this oppression is here why you have this evil in this rulership why why people are in a state that they're in right now why you're going to have all those trials and tribulations yet to come everything is being explained in the bible but do they read? No. Do they listen to the prophets? No. So do they change? They will not change according to the right way. They will change. They will wax worse. They keep listening to the oppressor. People will keep leaning upon their own understanding, their own faint opinions of how to solve problems which they don't even understand why these problems are here. But yet they talk and read, this is how we got to do it. We got to do it in this way. Man, that's why the Lord is only coming for the elect. We only, we only focus on the elect. The Lord is only focusing on the elect. And um, the elect-minded men, in humbleness of mind, we say the hopeful elect, the elect-minded men are only focused upon the elect. It says, and an evil suspicion had overthrown the judgment, man. You got spirits, man. You got people, people that don't, they don't have what it takes to judge the situation, man. You know? So, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion had light with darkness, and what concord had Mashiach with Belial, or what had he that believed with an infidel. We have no business with them that walk in darkness. We have no business with a disbeliever. You know, if we're dealing with a disbeliever, we're telling the disbeliever, do you know from which nation you are? Do you know what the good will is of the Most High? If you, if, if you are of the children of Israel, you gotta repent. You gotta walk in the ways of the Most High. Beside that, we're not chilling. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not in in one mind with them. You know, you might you might have to deal with them at work. You know, but for the rest, we have no communion with them. Their their mind is according to that which is contrary unto the Most High. We have no business with them. You know, it says, and what agreement had the temple of the Most High with idols? Exactly. You know, you go into Islam, you go into Buddhism. We bow down unto Yahweh Bashim Yashai. If they don't bow down and if they don't have the right doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, they are busy in idol worshipping. We are not going to join together with them that are busy in idol worshipping. The Lord forbids us to do so. So, for ye are the temple of the living power, which is your body. And you have, you have people that don't even respect the body. They just eat swine's flesh. They eat shrimp. You know, they eat, they eat, they eat fish without skills. You know, you, 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 these people, how the hell can we be in agreement with them? How the hell? Because we're being oppressed together. But where, where was, where was that mindset when we got oppressed during slavery? Nobody cared about us. 
but yet when now people starting to feel the things that was always on us falling upon them now you got people talking about well we need to come together we all need to join we all need to unite well the elect is going to unite in the sound doctrine of the most high that is the only unification that is going to take place by the heavenly father in his right way man it says uh the temple of the living power as the most High said i dwell in them and walk in them and i will be their power and they shall be my people their power my people their power my people that's possessive the lord is the lord is continually speaking directly towards his people the children of israel not towards these heathens they have no part in this man it says wherefore come out from among them separate yourself you know hold of make yourself holy which means walk walk in the holiness in the temple and the righteousness of the most high don't be amongst those profane creatures that don't care about righteousness it says and be separate so how can you, how can you be joined together with them if the lord says separate yourself from them you know say the lord and touch not the unclean thing and i will receive you and i will be a father unto you and ye shall be my sons and daughters say the lord almighty so the lord let's get luke 12. the lord is the lord the lord stands for the vision man and when yahushua is coming back he's going to take action action the book of luke the book of luke chapter 12 and and the division the division the division will exist out of those that are going to be saved by the lord the righteous and those that are going to be destroyed by the left and do believe there are many many men are going to be destroyed man it says here the book of luke chapter 12 verse 49 i came i am i am come to send fire on earth and what and what will i if it be already kindled the lord the lord says man i'm about to bring fire upon babylon man i'm about to destroy these these creatures that are roaming the earth the thing that nothing is going to happen they think they're in a good case and just look around is the fire not already burning is there not already a, a, a difficulty concerning concerning the financial problems you know is is there not a heat wave the heat wave causing causing for people to 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 starve a lot of elderly people are dying in these days man you know you're gonna have more wildfires more terrorizing taking place upon the people you know the direct direct energy weapon is being used to 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 create more wildfires and the famine man the, the 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 prices are skyrocketing inflation the privatization of energy uh, uh gas man we're living we're living in some 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 i have to say man we're living in beautiful times man we're living in times where we see the fulfillment of all that is written in the scriptures man and that means that our redemption is drawing nigh some might think like man how can you say that these are beautiful things after after you say all those horrible things that is taking place these are the indicators that show you that this wicked empire is coming down you know but before it goes down the things that you see right now will wax worse upon this earth many many people have to go they just they just gotta go man you know it says but i have a baptism to be baptized with them and how am i straight until i accomplish suppose ye that i come to give peace on earth suppose ye you might think oh i'm coming to bring peace well the lord when the lord is coming back when sweet jesus is coming back i'm going to hug jesus christ i'm going to kiss jesus christ i'm going to be together with jesus christ suppose ye that i come to give peace on earth i tell you nay but rather the vision the lord the lord is already the whole earth is, is actually in a, in a state of division, but the division is going to increase. You know, when the Lord is coming back, there will be a, there will be a huge division upon this earth. There will be many men that might say, have I not done all these beautiful things for thee, Lord, Lord, Lord? The Lord will look upon them and say, move, remove thyself from me, ye work of iniquity. Because there are many people that are not truly not performing. They are not professing. They are not exercising the works of of the heavenly father man love is the keeping of the commandments and the commandments are not grievous so people are not walking in love one might say like yeah i love i care i got you in my heart but you don't know the love of the most high you're not walking in the keeping of the commandments so you don't know the love of the heavenly father man let's get that man the book of first john chapter five 
1 John 5 and 3, For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. You might ask a modern-day plantation Christian right now, Do you keep the commandments of the Most High? Their answer will be, well, you don't have to keep the commandments anymore because a uh, sweet, sweet Jesus died for my sins and I don't have to keep the commandments anymore, so I'm, I'm, I'm already saved. <laughs> the, those people are not going to be saved, man. The Lord, the Lord is not coming back for no hypocrites who think, who think that they're walking or they are performing the ways of the Lord, but they're just in the ways of the world and they just, they just, it's just lip service, man. Hypocrites. The Lord is not coming back to save hypocrites, man. You know? So it says, suppose ye that I come to bring peace on earth, I tell you, nay, but rather division. There will be a division in the household, man. You're going to have the father which might believe, but the mother does not believe. The, 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 son, the son might be fearful and think like, man, I got to go to the government in order to get some food in a time of famine. You know, the daughter might think like, man, hey, I've, man. I'm, go, I'm going to snitch out my brother because my other brother is an Israelite and he believes in the Most High. And I know that they're looking for him, but I, I got my baby and my baby needs to eat. So I'm going to rat them out in the hope that the government will, will give me a little bit of things. All of this is going to take place, man. Betrayal, snitching, uh, backstabbers, traitors. All of that is what you're going to see. All of that is what you already have upon the earth, man. The government is grooming people to look to watch, to spy on others, to, to, to fish information. This is already taking place on the globe. You got roaches everywhere. The book of Luke chapter 12 verse 52. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided. Three against two and two against three. Within your house will be division. You're going to have believers and you're going to have disbelievers. When there's a situation where they will say you have to take this, this, this. The medicine for most likely the, the monkey pox that is spreading right now. I believe 2,000 people. This is what they say. Around 2,000 people already took the Jews concerning the monkey pox. Pretty soon, they're going to push it towards more and more people in order to prevent you from getting the monkeypox. You're going to have within the household people saying things like, yeah, I'm going to take it. And others might say like, well, I'm not going to take it. I don't, I don't trust it. I'm not with it. You know, so things are going to be concerning the mark of the beast. So things are going to be concerning uh, tyranny being exercised against the people causing you to submit and to comply onto what they want you to do. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law and the, and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. Division. That is what's always have been on this earth. Division. And it's only going to increase. Yep. So let's go, let's go, let's go. I got, I got just a couple of more. This is the last... Uh, I got one more after this. The book of Romans chapter 11 verse 7. Well then, Israel had not obtained that which it seeketh for. Our people are spiritual. They're looking for the answer, but they haven't found the right way from the most high. They're in everything except what they're supposed to be. But the election, the elect, the 144,000, one third of the heavenly father's chosen people, they will find it. They will return, they will walk in and they will believe and they hope, you know, they hope for the sure mercies of King David upon them and their loved ones and the Heavenly Father will be there for them. And the rest were blinded. The rest, the rest of our people who hasn't found this, who is not believing in it, who is not walking in it, is blinded. They're blinded by those strongholds. They, they're in a chokehold. They're blinded and they think that the way how they're living is the right way. Others are totally in, in entertainment, having fun, mirth. Just being, just being straight up goofballs, you know, just, 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 you got some goofy ass creatures on this earth really think that they're in the good case, man. No matter how much money you got, man, you're not in the good case, man. The book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 29, money is not going to save you from the judgment of the heavenly father, man. The, the glorious return, the glorious return of who? Of Yahweh Shai, the Mashiach, you know, immediately after the tribulation of those days and great tribulation is coming, man. Read, read Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Let it sink in. Read it, let it sink in. Close your eyes, imagine, picture yourself scenarios. Picture yourself scenarios and, and really find out and ask yourself, are you ready for what is coming, man? Are you ready? Because without the most high, you're not going to make it, man. And we understand that, man. I'm not going to say, man, I got all the skills by myself. I can do this, man. No, I acknowledge that I need the Lord for what, for what, for what is about to come, for what the Lord showed me in my dreams. 
I don't understand. I need the most high. Yahweh Bashim and Shah for what is about to happen. You know? Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall be the sun be dark and the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken, which is talking about the elites, their fear there's fear upon them. Because they see the rise of the prophets, they see our people waking up all over the globe, they see more brothers more brothers pushing this truth, more exposure of their wicked schemes, to the point that they even said, yeah, the, 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 the spreading of dangerous conspiracy theories is no longer allowed. These people are in fear, man. They fear the fact how we push and how we expose all their wicked, wicked schemes upon this earth, because truth... Truth is the beginning of the downfall of this wicked, deceitful kingdom, man. As we, as we order the truth, as we expose all things that is truly taking place, as we show the people who the children of Israel are and who these Edomite devils are upon this earth and what is going to happen with them, you know, <laughs> this is the beginning of the downfall of an empire, man. You know, two things take place continually, man. We're healing, edifying, building up our kingdom, our people, and we're destroying this wicked empire, man. It says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, which is talking about Yahweh Shai, in heaven, which is in, the, which is in the sky. And then shall the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, the Lord coming in his chariots, man, which these people call UFOs, you know. And yesterday I was outside, was watching beautiful weather, man, looking outside, I see all those chariots flying by, going by, man, hey, the spirit is beautiful, man. This is, this is what gives us comfort, man. I, I watch these things, man. I'm sitting, man. You just always feel like a child, man. You know, you see the chariot move and you get you such a praise. Call on me, Abba Shemeshai. Yeah, what is that? We're going to get beamed up, man. And we're going to see all the destruction on all these people, man. It says, of heaven with power and glory. Yeah, because when the Lord is coming back, every eye shall see his return, man. Everybody is going to see the comeback of the Lord, man. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of the trumpet, and they shall gather who gather together his elect. That's why we say we're the hopeful elect. You might you might go to a temple built by hands, just modern day plantation Christians, and you ask them like, who are the elect? What is what is the what is the importance of knowing about the elect? What is the importance about knowing about the building powers of the tabernacle of King David? Who are the Edomites? What is an Edomite? What is going to happen with the Edomites? Who are the children of Israel? They ain't going to tell you nothing because the Spirit is simply not on them to tell you these things. It has not been revealed unto them. The Holy Spirit is not supping with them. So a pastor is not going into the prophecy. A pastor is not warning you about the mark of the beast. A pastor is not telling you about the fulfillment of all these pestilences and all this tribulation, the, the privatization of, of energy and gas. All this what is taking place. What type of instructions are being given unto your people as, as preparing you for what for what is going to be displayed upon this earth what is a pastor doing the pastor is always clapping and dancing singing sweet jesus loves you and of course of course the tight basket needs to come around you gotta you gotta chip in money so that they can buy the most expensive uh, cars and live in the biggest mansions and so that they can tell you jesus loves you oh sweet jesus loves you oh don't worry my child you're already safe well none of them are safe when the, when the destruction is coming, all of these creatures are going to be confounded, man. They're all going to be confounded. They can they can scream and holler for the sweet white baby, sweet Jesus, for sweet white Jesus to save them. But sweet Jesus, sweet white Jesus ain't coming, man. Yahweh Shai is coming and Yahweh Shai is with only the elect. The true worship is in spirit and in truth. The rest of the people are going to find out what the true gospel is and for who the true gospel is, man. It says, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other, from north, east, south, west. The Lord is coming to, to gather the elect, you know, and we, we, I myself, I'm here in Holland, you know, I got a couple of more brothers. I got my, I got my brothers over there in, in uh, uh, teaching in Belma, you know, GMS Camp Holland. You know, I myself with my brothers teaching in uh, 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 The Hague. You know, and so you got, uh, uh, oh, you got more brothers also, some of them, some brothers also in um, um, Amsterdam in the Dam teaching, you know. So the, the Lord, the Lord is only coming for a small remnant to save, man. And so there will be also brothers in, this, in, in the Netherlands teaching, doing the right thing. The Lord is only coming for them. The rest of the people, man, they're finished, man. So, hey, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yashai, Shalom.